everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make the peacock feather bracelet. This is created by bias underscore loom on Instagram. I'll have her name in the description box below. And this is just kind of what it looks like up close. Sorry, I keep hitting my camera today. It's what it looks like up close on the front side and on the back side. Personally, I prefer the front side. However, you can wear it on whatever side you want. So let me bring up her profile real quick. This is her profile here. Buys underscore loom. I don't know if you can see that. But it's going to show you a quick like, look at her pictures. She's got some really cool pictures, I think. She makes really cool bracelets. So definitely give her account a follow. And make sure to check it out. So... Today you're going to need four bar pins, they're aligned like this, two on one layer and then one up. And they're aligned. You're also going to need a hook and a C-clip and um, five colors of bands. Today I'm going to be using, for the black border here, I'll be using gray. For the, um, the yellow in this bracelet I'm using white, just regular opaque white. For the gray in this bracelet, I'm using pink, regular pink. For the white in this bracelet, I'm using fuchsia. And for the white, or the for the fuchsia in this bracelet, I'm using neon blue from Michaels. I love this color. I also have it in a really nice little container. It's cute. I love it. Anyway, let's get started. Just make sure your arrows are pointing away from you. And you're going to take your border color, and we're going to put on a border. So take an extension color band and place it across these two pins here. Then, after you do that, take another band and just go up to the outside. Also, I'm going to move my camera a little bit this way. Oops, not that far this way. Alright, there we go. Just like that. Then take your border color and just do two single chains up to the second to last peg on both sides. And then after you get to the second to last peg, you'll just do one more band into here. Then go back to the beginning and keep going on the other side. And again, on the second to last peg, make sure you go in one to the center. Just like that. Make sure your bands are pushed down and go back to the beginning of your loom. Now we're going to place the yellow bands in this bracelet. Again, I'm using white. So just take... Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Take two white bands and just put one straight forward on each of these two center pegs like that. Now you're going to take your pink... I call them X band because you place them in an X through the gray ones in here. And you're just going to go from, this keeps rolling over. You're going to go from the bottom left up to the top right and the bottom right up to the top left. Just like that. Now take the bands that are going to be the white in this bracelet. Mine are going to be fuchsia. And from here you're going to go down to the outside on both sides. Just like this. Then, take two of the bands you're using for fuchsia, and you're going to go up and to the outside like this. This keeps rolling over. It's annoying me so much. Now you're going to repeat this process all the way down your loom. So, take two white, go straight forward, grab the pink, do the little X, then take your fuchsia, Go down to the outside, 
take your neon blue or whatever colors you're using as a substitute and go up to the outside. I'll show you one more time. So take two white bands and go straight forward. Do an X. Take your fuchsia bands, go down to the outside. Take your blue bands and go up and to the outside. So if you still need help, just rewind the video and replay the instructions. I'm going to go a little bit faster now in placing these bands. And when I get to the end of my loom, I'll tell you what to do next. Alright, so now that I'm kind of at the end of my loom, you're going to do one more kind of set of single chain and X bands. But you're not going to do the fuchsia or the blue because there's no room. So, now you're going to take one of your border color, I'm using gray, put it on your hook, twist it into a figure eight or a capping band, and apply it across these two pegs here. Now turn your loom around so the arrows are pointing towards you, and we can start the looping process. So, alright, I had to like adjust my sleeves because I'm wearing long sleeves today. So, what you're going to do first is loop these X bands. So go underneath of this capping band, grab the band that's on the top. So for me, this is the right band, the right hand side band. So go underneath. Just grab that top band, pull it out to itself, then go in, grab the other one, pull it out to itself. Now you're going to be going under a lot of, well not a lot, but you're going to be going under some bands. So you're going underneath the fuchsia and the neon blue to grab the top pink loop it to itself, you're going to pull on these bands and that's okay. 
and again push back those bands grab the bottom one put it here so you're always going to loop the top one first so that's the right side for me and you're going to do this all the way down your loom it can be a little difficult to push back the fuchsia bands but it shouldn't be super difficult unless you're using like really tight tight bands Again, you can always rewind the video and replay it, or if I'm going too fast, you can always pause. Or, if I'm going too slow, you can speed ahead. It's totally up to you. This fuchsia band isn't working with me today. I'm just gonna pull with my hook, part of my hook. I don't know what it is about the left side, but I like, can't get the bands. Also, just make sure that you aren't stressing out your bands too much. There's tension, relieve the tension. And use strong bands, as always. Alright. Finally, once you've looped those X bands, push them down. And now we're going to be looping the white single chain bands here. So, go underneath the capping band again, grab the next top band, pull it up to itself, and it doesn't matter what side you start on. Oops. If that happens, it's very easy. You just go back underneath the capping band, grab it, and pull it back on. Now, all you're going to do is go to the very bottom, push back all the bands, grab the top, or <laughs> grab the top, grab the bottom one, and pull it up to itself. Again, you're going to be pulling the neon blue and fuchsia bands, but they are already pulled by the pink, so it won't pull them too much more. And you're just going to go all the way up one side, all the way up the other side, and then I'll tell you what to do next, because it is some weird looping next, but it makes it look really nice. Repeat on the other side. These first bands here might be kind of loose, the pink and the white ones that I have, just because of like that first looping part. The um, cap band doesn't always hold them. Alright, after you've done that, go back to the beginning, and now I'm going to loop the fuchsia and the neon blue bands. So, the way you loop these is, you go inside of here, grab the top band, which is neon blue, but don't pull it back to itself, instead pull it up to where the fuchsia is. After you pull it up to where the fuchsia is, grab the fuchsia, pull it down to where the neon blue is. So I'll do that again up here. Go underneath of those bands, grab the top band, which is neon blue, stretch it up to where the fuchsia band is, then grab the fuchsia band and pull it down to where the neon blue band is, and just put it on the peg. Make sure that your bands are not overlapping, like this fuchsia one is overlapping. And you're just going to do that on both sides, on the top, or up to the top of your loom. So I just pull it up. Pull it down, and it's going to be pretty tense, so make sure that you don't pull them too hard, especially when you're taking this bracelet off. I 
don't know what's going on with the lighting here. I can see like flickering back and forth. But I'm not even covering the window at all. Trying to grab these bands. And pull it back. Go to the bottom of your loom. Repeat on the other side. Oops. Almost pulled it the wrong way. Pull the top band to... Why can't I get this band? Top band to the opposite band. Bottom band to the other band. Whenever I'm looping, there's like one side that I have problems, problems with. This time it's the right side. When I was looping the X bands, it was the left side. I don't even know why. It just it just happens. This band overlapped, so the wrong one is on top. Alright, make sure to push your bands down so that you can loop the border. Also, my loom is like curled in because of this, and actually, my base plate is in a weird place, but. Alright, so go underneath of this cap band. Again, it's gonna be a very stretched out capping band. Grab the top band. Pull it back to itself. Grab well, it's the last band in there, so grab that band, pull it to itself, and just go underneath all of these bands. Oops. Grab the bottom band and pull it up. Again, grab the bottom band and pull it up. Now, after I do that, I just like to take this off so it doesn't stress it out too much. And you're just going to loop it up all the way up your loom, and then I'm going to take it off, kind of show you what it looks like. And that'll be it. When you are taking this off, be careful because it is a pretty tight bracelet and I don't want your bands to snap. Then just loop that one into the center. Go back to the beginning and do it again. And I'm just going to pull these ones off too. There. Now it should be a little bit easier to deal with. It won't be so stressed out. Again, pull this last one into the center. Then grab this extension band, go to the bottom, grab the extension band, grab it, hold it with your fingers, grab the other one, do the same thing so that you have both of those. I just like to be super careful when I pull this first one off because it is only being held by one band. So I'm going to just like take them off bit by bit on these first two pegs and then just kind of wiggle it down the loom. Alright, so as you can see this is the back side of your bracelet and this is the front side. So these blue bands will kind of pop out a little bit more but you can just pull on them and it'll adjust itself if it's not the right way you can pull them out to the sides to get rid of the blue bands in the center it's up to you do what you want it's your bracelet so 
yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe i'll have bias loom underscore or bias underscore looms name in the description box below make sure to go check her out on instagram and that's it for this video second video of the day i hope to see you next time